Now that we have that thing welded on, we can work on mounting this to the actual fan shroud that was already on the bike. Well, I'm sitting here working and mail call. So these came from a friend, Jonathan here. I'm gonna link his Instagram below. But he's been, he sent me a couple back caps for the TIG here. Oh, that's cool looking. Send me a variety here. I'm gonna try this super duper short one because I know I have a really short piece of tungsten in this thing right now. Oh, that's neat. Really dig those colors. Let's try it out. He had sent me these as well. I really like this one, kind of marbly looking or a cool bowling ball or something. Awesome. I know I need to get a different uh, different cup. I need to just invest in like a Furic, you know, like a Fupa, Fupa 10 or something like that, Fupa 12, I don't know. Need to, need to invest in new gas lens, just kind of shorten this thing up and allow me to kind of get in those tighter areas and stuff a lot easier and not smack into things. That would be good too. But anyway, thanks, sir. All right, since we had the engine on the bench anyway, I just stood it upright, put the, uh, the cradle on, and of course the fan shroud, so kind of give you an idea of where this thing's gonna be mocked up. Obviously you can see we did the work to the camshaft, the taco drive here, and we have that flushed. Um, holding this up here, it's actually, it's still pretty tight. You have uh, basically the width of the wire, the width of the uh, harness here, between the uh, button on the fan and then the end of the cam or the taco drive. But, you know, there is room. So hold it up there. I know we have it lined up, you know, basically towards the top here, offset and then lined up with the outside. There's a little bit of, there's a little bit of room. But, now we just gotta work on making, bra making a few brackets that tie in from here to the actual shroud. And this thing will be installed. Okay, here's the uh, design I'm coming up with here. No need to reinvent the wheel. So we're gonna use paper to hold it in because that'll be structurally sound for sure. But no, just uh, cut some 20 millimeter wide strips because these little mounting brackets are 20 mil. And I'll just put a little bend in them. And then we'll weld to this surface and then the fan shroud surface right there. Um, went ahead and took off all the paint, cleaned this area up for welding. But now I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these. I got some, I got a, Big piece of 16 gauge over there, so it'll be uh, pretty resilient, nice and strong. And then where I have the yellow paint marker, that's just where I'll take off paint on the shroud itself. But once that's in, the fan will just be mounted to the shroud itself permanently, and we'll be good to go. This one's gonna be bent at a slightly weird angle since we're offset in the circle here. This looks like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> Just getting everything clamped in place here. So clamped in place as just said, 
but I'll start with uh, kind of tacking and welding where I can, then I'll pull the whole assembly apart and then weld it kind of off the radiator just so we don't put too much heat in where we don't want it. So anyway. Look at this, that back cap is already coming in handy right now. One thing I'm a little concerned about would be uh, removing all of this and then using my ground clamp somewhere. It has so much tension it could distort this whole thing. I mean, this is only just thin sheet metal. Um, so I'll be careful whenever I'm, I'm clamping it. So I'll probably use maybe my smaller clamps and then ground through this. You know, we'll figure it out, but yeah. I like the fitment, I like the location. Pretty excited about it. So on the back side of the fan motor, I can feel I still have about a finger's width of space between the motor and then the uh, tachometer drive or the camshaft front holder. So I'm not sure how much you'd have to cut off if you just wanted to, to keep the camshaft in the engine and just, just cut it while it was on. I'm sure it could work though. And the radiator on, fits great, no interference or anything like that. Obviously we built it with the cradle mounted to the radiator itself face down. So. Not gonna have any clearance issues there. But really happy with this. Uh, I like to try to draw from as much surface area of the fan as possible, just to, to draw as much air as possible. Obviously this is an electric fan conversion and we're ditching the mechanical fan. There are inherent flaws with that thing in my opinion. Beyond like just age and them deteriorating, possibly exploding, which does happen on occasion. I like to uh, have more cooling control out on a ride. So this is gonna be an off-road bike and there's gonna be a lot of time spent at slow speeds, first, second gear, that kind of thing. And in the stock setup with the mechanical fan driven off the cam, when you're at a low RPM at a low speed and stuff like that or idling around, you have the most minimal cooling coming from that mechanical fan. Whereas in this setup, you can actually have maximum cooling kind of like whenever you want. And I'll actually wire this like I do on my KLR. I'll have a fan override switch. So if you know you're just gonna be idling and stuff, you just wanna try to have a little bit more control of the temperature, he'll be able to just do a ground override, kick the fan on whenever he wants. And that's a nice thing to have. So we'll see how this one works out. I'm still going to uh, do some testing and figure out what kind of amp draw this thing has but I don't think it should be too bad. Regardless though, we're gonna have a, a different electronics controller from NWT on this thing, and that should help take up that initial amp spike or the amp draw for this thing. And we will have no issues. It'll be just like the uh, CX500-650 thing that, I, uh, that I'm finishing up now. We did the uh, big Bandit 1250 fan on that. But overall, I think I'm happy with this one. I think it was uh, actually an easier install as far as retrofitting this this fan setup to the radiator than the uh, than the other one, so I like it. Now, if you haven't seen it already, in the last episodes, I did pull the camshaft out of this thing. I modified it, and then for installing it, we got new seals and all that stuff in here. And we cleaned the engine throughout. So go check that out. I'll link it here. Check some other stuff out on the channel. Follow me on social media and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. So anyway, hope you guys like this video, and hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.